Rensselaer is one of the fastest changing universities in the country. The changes both cosmetic in terms of what the buildings look like and then what the buildings enable us to do, like the Biotechnology Center. We don't like to say, let's talk about that in a month. We are very proactive. There is a real intellectual excitement in terms of research, in terms of funding, in terms of new ideas, in terms of new application that is happening on campus. The Center for Biotechnology and Interdisciplinary Studies is more than just a facility. It is a way for faculty with very different interests to come together and to work on problems that may be in many cases fairly similar. A state university that I was at changed less in the 21 years that I was there and Rensselaer has changed in the three years since I've been here. So our vision from the university standpoint is to continue to grow, and to be recognized as one of the top institutions in science and technology. The center itself gives us an ideal space for connecting people to each other. Everyone is encouraged to talk to each other. We have journal clubs and meetings where everyone is invited. The laboratories have no barriers, no physical walls so people are encouraged to speak to one another when they have a 15 minute break in their experiment. So you can have the chemists and the biologists and the engineers working literally on the same floor. Students in those labs talking and working with one another. Interdisciplinary work is absolutely essential nowadays to carry out the scientific projects that we need in order to make progress in science. We have to come out of our boxes and our, our, our traditional thinking to think in a completely different way about the same problem. So there's this wealth bringing all these people in one building. If I bring a biologist and a chemical engineer together, we're going to develop new capabilities that don't exist today, and that's how we're going to solve problems. This center is being built focused around four constellations, biocomputation, biocatalysis and metabolic engineering, tissue engineering and regenerative medicine, and systems biology. The potential is to grow four areas at Rensselaer that are nationally and internationally recognized. The chief of the constellation is the central star known as one of the world's best. And that person is used as a magnet to attract other people that are possibly five or 10 years from achieving that status. And nowadays, even the government is realizing the power of interdisciplinary research and there are a lot uh, more funding opportunities. I have a large research group, uh, about 26 people. Uh, they're split, about two-thirds being graduate students, mainly PhD students, one-third being postdocs. Uh, we have some visiting scientists and other support staff. We also have three undergraduates, and I routinely have undergraduates work in the lab, uh, both throughout the semester as well as in the summer. Research and education are never separable, and so uh, whenever you uh, create a new paradigm for research, it always impacts uh, education. Exposure to research and getting involved in a problem-solving environment prepares them for real life, that there's not always a right and wrong answer, that usually it's varying shades of gray. I think all faculty encourage students to think globally and think certainly more uh, societally than just the nature of the experiment they're doing that day. We have uh, U.S. students, typically chemical engineering students, but also biology students. Uh, some of our graduate students come from India, Korea, from Europe, so it's a very broad cross-section of uh, society. My last four or five students have been hired by Intel. I was curious because Intel is that, you know, they make chips, they think about computer chips. Why do they need people who think about proteins, really? So I did call them up and they said we, we want really bright people who can think about molecules, who can think about small scale, and I think the kind of uh, training we give them really prepares them for thinking about this new molecular world, really, or a small nanoscale world. When we show students, particularly graduate students, the facilities that we work in, and the way that the students within the facility work together, uh, we don't have to do very much of a selling job. It's very clear to them that they're looking at a fairly unique place. The building has everything. They have their own offices that they share, complete computer resources. They're able to use every piece of equipment in the building and if they don't know how to use it, we offer training. We think we're turning out great students. We realize that we're educating people for the future, not for the present. The Center for Biotechnology and Interdisciplinary Studies is just a great facility. It's unique because it's collaborative, it's interdisciplinary. It's a spirit, it's an environment, it's an attitude. It's breaking down school and departmental barriers. The work that we do translates into either commercial products or 
things that benefit society. Our building is the place right now, the place to be on campus.